Hello again. Do you remember the genie in the story of Aladdin? The hero rubbed an old lamp and released a long imprisoned genie who then granted him three wishes. What would your three wishes be? Suppose you could only have one wish granted right now. What would you request? Genies are, of course, not real, but prayer is. Hebrews 4 and 16 says, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Does this mean God will always grant my requests like some celestial genie? Apparently not. Paul knew a lot about asking and not receiving the answer he wanted. In 2 Corinthians 12, 7-10, he tells us of a time in his life when he asked God to make it go away. We are not told what the specific circumstance was, but it was bad enough for Paul to pray three times for God to remove it from his life. Instead of taking away the prickly issue, God gave Paul a promise in verse 9. But he, God, said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Was Paul content with that answer? More than content. Paul says he goes on to boast about his weakness. He delights in weaknesses, because then Christ's power rests on him. He even says, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Christians are not powerless in difficult times, but equipped by the grace and power of God because he is with us. Do you remember the old hymn? He giveth more grace as our burdens grow greater. He sendeth more strength as our labors increase. To added afflictions, he addeth his mercy. To multiply trials, he multiplies peace. When we have exhausted our store of endurance, when our strength has failed ere the day is half done, when we reach the end of our hoarded resources, our Father's full giving is only begun. His love has no limit, His grace has no measure, His power no boundary known unto man. For out of His infinite riches in Jesus, He giveth and giveth and giveth again. Or in the words of a more modern hymn, grace alone which God supplies, strength unknown he will provide. Christ in us our cornerstone, we will go forth in grace alone. And that will be sufficient for today and for all my tomorrows. Let's pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your promise that your grace will be sufficient. We acknowledge that we are in a time when we feel weak, weak and helpless, yet you will make your power perfect in our weakness. We would stop to pray today for all of the medical people who are working in this pandemic. And we include in our prayers all of those who are on the front lines of social service institutions, officers, and others in charitable works who are giving their time. Many of them feel exhausted. Come alongside them with sufficient grace, we pray. And for pastors and core officers who are trying to encourage their people from a distance, and who are perhaps getting involved in hands-on work as well. Remind them of the promise of your word. My grace is sufficient. My power is made perfect in weakness. Thank you.
we will go forth today in your grace alone. Amen. Amen.